Right, good afternoon guys. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a post. Um, a lot's happened since since I was doing my own sort of stuff. I'm trying to do my own sort of stuff as well, but I'm currently back on site with the gang on price work uh, with my brick lane thing uh, side of it. Uh, I've got my own sort of little jobs as well, which I'm sort of trying to crack out and uh, and stuff like that. But yeah, that's why I haven't done no videos because. I haven't really had anything to show that nobody else really does show you on on, on YouTube and uh, you know I me, mean, I like to ramble on. Um, but what I'm going to do today, I'm hopefully going to start as well, um, getting some more videos back pretty soon. Uh, but I might try and do some more more, more details of specific things that I normally do um, day to day, like how to set different things up. I get a few questions asking me how do I set that up or what do I do. So yeah I'll probably start doing stuff like that in the future again and you know and if you want to ask me things you, you can do. But well, today's video uh, what I'm going to do is I do stuff from my back a lot. Um, I've seen a lot of uh, posts about uh, the spot board stands and there's there's, there's a quite a few videos on YouTube about making them. Um, so yeah, I've just gonna. You know, I've already made a couple already. I've just been to the BQ and got some more timber. Um, so what I'm actually using is uh, 50 by 50, um, 2.4 lengths, 2.4, sorry, 2.4 meters in length. Uh, so to cut that down to a 600 spot board stand, obviously you can get four legs out of out of each one. Um, and then the, in, the inside brackets to, to sort of hold it together. I've done them at 400 mil. So, and this is what it should look like. That's what it should look like. So, um, actually, just put my camera back on. That's what it should look like. I'm just doing it like that. And then the swivel open to do that. So. 600 mil, and there you go. Spot board to stand on. I will just put a belt through there, a couple of washers, and away we go. So, and they're filed up nice and light. That's why I didn't want to use too, too thick of timber because it just makes it weighty, it makes it really heavy, and you've got to start carrying them around. That's good enough. That's good enough. So, makes it really light. So, I thought I'd do a little video today just showing you how I've done that. If anybody wants to adopt that method. I know there's a few people out there that have done it different ways. Uh, one guy did it with um, just two pieces of board. Um, make it cheaper as best as you want. But I so say they're like 30, 40 pound each on the metal one. So I thought I'd just give it a go. So I do suffer from my back. So I'm hoping I'm going to make six of them. So I've already done three. I'll probably do another three today. So what I'm going to do, I'll just show a video of me making them. And if you want to adopt it. Now, I'm no carpenter. So if I'm doing something wrong, yeah. It's just the way I do it, I've, I've, I'm learning, I'm trying to learn as I go, so uh, don't flood me with comments of, oh, you ain't done that, and so I don't know, I, I'm not normally, a, uh, I'm a bricklayer, not a, not a carpenter, or a joiner, so, but I'll have a go, I'll have a go at anything. Oh, so what I've done there, is I've measured the 400, and I've clamped that, so every time now, what I'm going to do is just put that up to there, and every time I move it, it should be formed every time, so I haven't got to keep marking it all out. Oops. Let me just grab that one. Always falls off the edge. So there, we've got two. Should be sure you're exactly the same. Now I've got all my timber cut. Those are 600 millimetres. They should be all the same length, or there or thereabouts. So I think the wood was slightly smaller than 2.4. Uh, and those are all my in sections, internal sections that swivel at 400. 
so yep, we start to piece it all together now. Okay, so what I've done is I've got my two 400mm pieces. I've done the centre mark at uh, 200. I've cut the both sides down. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drill through the both of them to um, so I can fix my bolt through. I've got an 8mm wooden drill bit. So I'm going to pop that in. Give that tight. Oh, another trick I've uh, been told as well. If it helps anybody. So once you've done that, if you click it back the way once, that locks it in place, then that one that shouldn't come out then. So, little tip of the day for you. What I've got here is some 100 mil bolts, which will go through there, and then the washers, which will go in between. Okay, so I've put the bolt through there, wait for the one piece, I'll put a washer on. Let's go now put the next piece on, like that. So the washer sticks in, and then that one, and then what we'll do is we'll get the nut, and then I'll give that a tie up later. Once we're actually, once we're actually all pieced together. So now, there you go. It should pivot. I've probably got the wrong nuts to be fair. You probably want those locking nuts, but you can always. Um, work on that and chop them over it another time. So yeah, that's the uh, the, middle, the middle pivot. Righty up, I've done now uh, six, is that six? Six, yes, I've uh, done six. Uh, so yep, so each one of them will pivot, every single one. So that's the internal one, so that would be this one there. Let's see that would be that one there, the middle bits, it goes through there, which then allows it to, to pivot. Okay, so what I've done there is I've got my two 600 buttons, one there, one there. Um, so I'm trying to do this one handed. And then where this will go, this will sort of go in the middle like that and then what I'll do then is I will just measure down from there to there and there to there make sure that's okay and then I'll screw one side through there and one side through there not the two because obviously that's got to be going hang on a minute let's just imagine that's like that that bottom one then would be going through that way so if you imagine that one there and that one there then that one will be going oh I should have had these things to hand and that one will be going there. So don't screw the two, just screw the one. And then what you need to do is obviously do the one at the top and do one at the bottom. So you'll have one there and one there. Right, I've cut all my lengths. That one's a little bit short. Don't ask me why. Perhaps the timber was a bit short when I've uh, off the main overall length, but it doesn't make a difference. So they're all pretty much lined up. So what I've done, like I've done there, is I've done it 80 mil down from the top and 110 mil from the bottom. So all I'm going to do now is mark 80 mil there, mark 110 there. Bring that right. And I might have to just alter that a touch. Oh, it ain't quite big enough. No matter. And rest. Mark that down. 
Let me mark it that way. Same there. So that's what I've done there. So then each one of these will fit there and there. Or is it there? No, it's there because I'll get a bit of clearance in case you go any rough ground. So it doesn't mean you can put them there and there really. So next will be I'll pile a hole, all these, and then drill and fix those into there. Okay, so I've piloted hole, just to make it a bit easier. You've got the marks there, as you can see. Marks there. So that's the top, that's the top there, all piloted. So I'd want one at the top there, and one at the bottom there. So what we'll do, we'll just fire some screws in. Going to need a bigger table. Where am we? Now we're on that mark there. There we go. Got that stuck there. Then we'll, we'll flip it over. Same again. We've got the right way this time. No, we've got the wrong way, see? My dad always to say, measure twice, cut once. I mean, I've got the right one there, didn't we? Yep. So we've got one there, that's right, it's the top there, and it's the top there. And then what we'll do is. There, make sure it's the right one. So that's the top again. Make sure we've got in the right place. And that's slightly above, so we just move. So if we do that, there we go. And there's the stand. go and that will just wiggle around later we'll just have to move that that's right you have to slightly twist that just to get it round that's it and the same with that one there we go and that's ready for the other one So we'll do the same. So we'll do the same the other side now. Regarding the other sides that. And then we'll uh, we'll come back to the finished product. Right then boys and girls. Muddy Funksters. Finished it. So yeah, I just said we've all we've done is that. Pivoted. Belt through there. I'll put a washer in between there. I'll put a washer in there, sorry about the dogs and I don't know, squiddles are everywhere and, and I'm kicking off. So yeah, so all it was, two washers, bolt, straight the way through, then my 400, then number 400, then my 600, which I think is a nice height. They fold up like that. So there probably was a cheaper and easier way to do it. That's the way I did it. I like to get all tattered around my wood occasionally, so it's all been a bit of experience. I might have to change the the, the, the nuts though, because they're not like the self, you know, the, the the 3D ones where they stay there. So I think as it moves, it might generally, over time, just loosen the, the, the nut. So, so but that's it, and it's really light. And I've got a spot board here, which I'll 
stand on it, but it's an old one, but <laughs> I thought it could still work. So, and uh, yeah, that's, I mean, it's on the grass, don't forget, so it's a bit wobbly, but that's pretty much it. I mean, it's, uh, it's a lovely height. It's a lovely height to, uh, sort of up to my, I've got a helicopter coming over now, up to sort of just past my sort of knee, thigh height, so, it is, it is a lovely height. So, sorry about that. So yeah, that was pretty simple. I think the, the one length, that was one length of timber. Uh, really, if one length for the 600s, because you can get four, so it's 2.4 meters. So we're like six, 12, 18, 24. And then another length at 400, which you get six out of, if I did them at 400. So you're looking like, I don't know, um, length and half so I just called it two lengths and you'll be able to make another one at the other one so um, I think that was about five pounds twenty something like that a length bolts I think I've got ten for about seven pounds wash is about the same so if you're looking at that you're probably looking at a tenner so if you're looking at a tenner for each one eight ten pounds something like that um, so yeah I'm gonna try mates uh, this week see how they go there is other ones I say on the net well, the guys have done them and they work just as fine, but so I was paying X amount of pounds for them. So I'll probably spray them or paint them as well to make them a bit more uh, watertight. But yeah, guys, so that's it. That's my video on that. Uh, hopefully, I'm going to come up with some more soon, some more videos. Um, I'm going to do a probably review. I've bought some more stuff. Uh, I've bought like a laser level um, outdoor. Um, and I've also bought the DeWolf uh, Tough System storage boxes, which I'll probably just do a little review with that later before I put it away. Just put some stuff in there so you can see what it's like and how big it is and what you can actually get in these things. So, um, yeah, guys, thanks very much, and I'll catch you in a bit. See you later.